Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a war. Together, we are building two worlds.
Yeah, they never get through here. Jeez! My soldiers. Dog insisted we bring someone back alive. That woman scares the shit. <clears throat> this is insane. There's body parts <laughs> everywhere. I saw an arm by itself. An arm. Survivors, my ass. Jeez. <laughs> 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 that shit just keep a lookout we got to make sure they're all dead this is a big place anyone could have hit themselves somewhere who the hell is this what the i got eyes on a gun watch yourself this guy's putting up a fight <laughs> This is some scary shit, man. I ain't never seen wrecks like this. No one's walking away. I'm so sure. I knew a guy back home got caught in a combine, lost half his damn body and lived. Paramedics could barely get him in the ambulance. He was so shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
search an area this big. Man, if I told you what they were up to out here, you wouldn't believe me. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! the target. Fuck! Something's here. We need to investigate. Mayday, Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? 555, five, five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the White Rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go seat out.
out so easy. Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Now what's Erewhon? The cave. That's what we call it. Get in. What is this place? Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? Goddamn. My mind's blown. Yeah. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds. No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? And now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. 
Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Cassiar wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Hold. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... You just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> so now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough.
How's your pal? Hold it up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? Know how I can get off this island? Right. Don't leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mats. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the naval station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. It'd be a pretty island, without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Walk me through this Titan program. It has to be a target, right? I mean, it's a secret Skell project on Golem Island. What more do you need to know? Any idea what they do there? What would make it a priority threat? I don't know. You have to understand. 
The Jace Scale I know would have considered a killer robot beneath him. He's a genius, sure, but when I came to work for him, it was because he was revolutionizing technology. Then, after Project Amiga ramped up, the work changed. He seemed to change, too. Fine, but what was he so afraid of that super robots were the answer? Is there some major city that needs protecting against mutated fire-breathing dinosaurs? Look, I've been asking myself that question every day since I left. If I were to hazard a guess, and this is purely speculation on my part, but I have to imagine that the program slipped into Walker's hands somehow. Maybe he and the Wolves took the lead on it. But I can't really give you any insight into fighting whatever they're making. That said, if the robots are Skells, they could eventually be the most devastating weapon this world has ever known. So yeah, I'd say they're our priority threat. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. But you don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these boats back to that ship, and I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. And this is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, I mean, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back.
shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover!
What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing villa you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. Hey, Red Queen. White Rabbit. Nomad? Josiah. Holy shit. Nice to see you're still above ground. Anyone else from your chuck? Few. But we're scattered. Man, we sure screwed the pooch on this one. Josiah, I saw Walker out there, hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker, here, fighting our guys? There's no way. He's turned on us, man. There's no way for our people to die. I guess duty and honor are going the way of the dinosaur. <sighs> so what's your lay of the land? Either Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. Look. Jay Skell sunk that cargo ship. Damn. Everything that happens here is because of that prick. I'll locate Jay's Skell. I met some Skell Tech employees. I'll see what they know. I'll try and round up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. Mads, did the folks from the beach make it back? 
You mean the survivors? I knew some of the people on that boat since they were babies. I saw them take their first steps. I did my best. Your best? We were supposed to have a ship. Marines. And all we got were bodies washing up on the shore and some grunt twisting in the wind. Mads, this grunt did save a whole lot of us. But my daughter, it's not a small thing. I know. But it ain't enough. Not with these odds. This isn't over. I found my friend, Sergeant Major Hill. I've got a plan to go after Jace Skell. If we can stop him, take control over the drones. Hold on, hold on. You think Jace is behind this? You're wrong. He's a good guy and my best friend. Sentinel took over the island. Follow me. I have evidence. Well, I got more immediate problems. My people have to prepare for the long haul. You gonna lend a hand? All right. But finding Skell is my priority. All right, Fox. What have you got? I'm telling you, Jace is not behind this. Someone on the inside, this, uh... He sent me the video of the guy in charge of Sentinel. That surf on the south coast looks rough as shit. Don't curse. Seriously. Stone is gonna find any employee who curses? Ask him yourself. Captain Gibson, Captain Coleman. That's the two soldiers I wanted to see. Mr. Stone. Operation Citadel is an outstanding success. No communication of any kind is leaving or coming into the island. The drone perimeter is active. And while Miss Fury is out there winning hearts and minds, you lot are going to root out the troublemakers. Captain Coleman, I want those homesteaders under control. There's a cutting-edge technology that I'd like to exploit. Sounds perfect. Captain Gibson, take care of that terrorist bomber and those outcasts of hers. And we know there ain't many left. But they're in your AO. Find them. Squash them. Sir, are the holding facilities complete? I said squash them, not capture. Don't y'all just love being in the South Pacific? The way the ocean breeze carries that scent of jasmine reminds me of Savannah. And y'all enjoy yourselves out there. If you see a ghost from one of those choppers, shoot on sight. Clearly, Jace is not behind it. Look, even if only Sentinel's behind this, it means your pal lost control of Aroa. He sank that cargo ship, and I still have to find him. He's the only one who'll know what to do. Fine. Screw it. He has a villa hidden in the hills. The door code is 120386. Just give him a chance. That's all I ask. You okay here in Erwan? I guess so. I mean, it's weird to live like cavemen. The animals are cool, 
And Maria taught me how to start a fire with flint. That's always good to learn. Yeah, but Maria's chicken is like trying to chew on rubber. They just need, like, a microwave and some video games. So what's there for a kid to do in Aroa? God. Fine. I go to the beach, like Goromiko. There's a movie theater in Liberty. And if you could excuse me, I'm very busy. Well, all right. Take care, kid. No man. How are you? I'm missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed out old Jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Groves Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough, over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. We have a situation, Nomad. Sentinel put up roadblocks around their area of operations. We've got friendly stuck on the other side. Keeping separated might keep your people safe. I've seen this before. You squeeze people till they're so desperate they do something stupid. Then you have every excuse to wipe them out. Yeah, with Sentinel, it's best to expect the worst. I have a feeling in my gut that this is the beginning of something that could end everything I care for. For what it's worth, I have great respect for your gut. The farmer's caught out there. They have medicine, insulin that some folks out here depend on to stay above ground. So it's not just people. We need to get supplies in too. Before the radio cut, the driver, Kyle, Maria's brother, was talking about trying to run the blockade. The boy's just a farmer. I'll take care of it, Mads. Okay, Mads, what do we have? Nomad, I'm glad you're here. What's up? Have a little operation planned, but I'm not sure my people are up for it. You saying you're ready to work together? I'm saying I'm ready to give you a shot. I'll take it. What's the plan? Some x scale nerd scraped together a virus that'll scramble Sentinel systems. I don't know that tech stuff, but he said you had to upload it onto their servers. Think you can make that happen? Sure. I can do that. Thanks, Nomad. Keep this up. I might start to like you. Can't wait.
security team?